Nomos is a German watch brand known for making incredibly well-made modern timepieces with in-house movements at a surprisingly decent price point. I got the chance to spend a week just doing my daily things around Los Angeles with one of their newer offerings, the Nomos Metro Neomatic 41 Update. My thoughts might surprise you. Before we go in depth on the watch, some of you might be thinking, what or who is Nomos? Well, if you're not fully vested in the watch world, that makes sense. Let me break it down. There's a small town in Germany, a couple of hours south of Berlin called Glashütte, that's home to around 7,000 people. While it's a fairly small city, it's home to some incredibly heavy hitting watch brands like Alanga Unsuna, Glashütte Original, and the subject of our video, Nomos. Unlike a lot of watch brands nowadays, Nomos's design language is very modern and is heavily influenced by Germany's own Bauhaus movement that started in the early 20th century. For me, the contemporary style makes sense since they were founded not all that long ago in 1990. For perspective, the earlier mentioned Alanga Unzuna was founded 145 years earlier in 1845. Nomos's Metro line was first released back at Baselworld, RIP, 2014, and it was the very first watch to exclusively use their new in-house swing system escapement, making them less reliant on the ever-changing supply chains from the Swiss and giving them more control over production. Since then, the Metro line has grown to 14 different references. One of their newer versions is the Metro Neomatic 41 update, this watch. Yes, it's an updated Metro, but the word update is actually part of the name. It indicates the presence of their patented ring date feature, which shows you the date. Metro is the watch family. Neomatic indicates the use of their slender DUW6101 caliber movement. And 41 is because the watch's diameter is 41 millimeters, which is the largest in the Metro line. The Metro is meant to be cosmopolitan and smart with contemporary flair. At least that's what Nomos says, and I agree. The white silver plated dial is home to hour and minute hands reminiscent of New York's Empire State Building, while the seconds hand subdial adds depth because it's slightly recessed and has concentric gradient circles. All very cosmopolitan. The smarts and flair come into play with the outer track along the edges of the dial near the very thin bezel. There, you'll see a string of numbers representing the days of the month with hollow pill-shaped gaps separating each day. Two bright neon orange markers fill those gaps and frame the current date. Not only does this add a nice pop of color to the dial, but it's very useful in helping me visualize the month. With a lot of watches, we're used to only seeing a number for the date but seeing it represented as a location on a wheel gives me the advantage of seeing where we are in the month without even needing to know the exact date. If I peek over at my watch and see the orange markers near the eight o'clock position, then I know we're three quarters of the way through the month. It's one less step for my brain to process. I see the month as opposed to seeing a number and taking a millisecond to figure out where that number fits into the month. Yeah, I know it's silly, but that's my weird brain. The stainless steel case design is pretty simple. As mentioned before, it's around 41 millimeters in diameter and only 9.1 millimeters tall. It's also water resistant up to 50 meters. Everything is polished and overall, it's just a cylinder really, and there's nothing wrong with that. This puts more of an emphasis on the dial and I like that. There's also wired lugs that don't protrude from the case as much as some of the other offerings from Nomos. A common issue I hear from people is Nomos lugs are too long, but that's far from an issue with this Metro.
On the back of the watch, you get to see their in-house caliber DUW6101 on full display. It's a 27 joule automatic winding movement with a 42 hour power reserve. You can also set the date in both directions, which is a nice convenience. Tech specs are cool and all, but I mainly care what it looks like. And the Metro's movement doesn't disappoint, especially at its $4,660 price point. Under the macro lens, the finishing looks incredible for the segment. You get everything you'd expect. Cote de Genève, perlage, tempered blue screws, and rhodium plated surfaces. I mean, it's a real bargain, and this is actually one of their more expensive stainless steel offerings. With their lower price watches, you still get the same standard of finishing all throughout the watch, movement included. So why is this such a bargain? Well, let's compare the competition. Semi-dressy watches with in-house movements, great modern designs that appeal to the youth, high-end finishing, and less than $5,000. I can't think of one. Omega has the DeVille, but the design is more classic, which is fine, but it ain't modern. There's Germany's Junghans Max Bill, which is a great watch. It's around a quarter of the price, but it's missing the in-house movement and Nomos's finishing and overall feel are way more premium. It's another level and obviously the price reflects that. This might sound ridiculous, but hear me out. Say that you're into Alanga Umzuna, I sure am, but want something more funky, youthful, and way more affordable, then check out a Nomos. This Metro Neomatic 41 update is a great watch, but all of their offerings are for the most part. Yes, Langa is in a totally different stratosphere when it comes to finishing, and everyone is going to roast me for even mentioning the two brands in the same sentence. But I think of Nomos as the more hip, more affordable, yeah, less refined, younger German sibling that's still pretty damn cool. Hot take, I better get out of here.